Today let us consider one more questions which are most frequently appeared for the board exam. Consider first question. Give an example of a relation which is reflexive, symmetry but not transitive. For this, let us consider a set A with elements 1, 2 and 3. Let us write a relation R on A that is R equal to it is a set containing ordered pairs of the form 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 1, 2, 2, 1, 3, 2 and 2, 3. It is reflexive because R contains for all the elements of A, elements of the form A, A. That means for 1, 1, 1 is there. For 2, 2, 2 belongs to R. For 3, 3, 3 also belongs to R. Along with this, 1, 2 belongs to R, 2, 1 also belongs to R, so it is symmetric. 3, 2 belongs to R, 2, 3 belongs to R, so it is symmetric. But it is not transitive because 1, 2 belongs to R and 2, 3 also belongs to R. But 1, 3 does not belong to R, therefore it is not transitive. Now consider second question. Find the value of cot of tan inverse x plus cot inverse x. That is cot of tan inverse x plus cot inverse x is pi by 2. So this becomes cot pi by 2 means cot 90. Value of cot 90 is 0. Consider next question. If determinant of x 8 8 x is equal to determinate value of 2 8 8 2 then find the value of x for this first get the value of this determinant that is x square minus 64 is equal to value of this determinant is 4 minus 64 that is x square equal to 4 that implies x is equal to plus or minus 2. Now move on to the next question. Differentiate sin of root x with respect to x. Suppose y is equal to sin of root x. Then we have to find out y dash. Means derivative of y with respect to x. That is the given function is sine of root x. So, it is a composite function. So, derivative of that is cos of root x into by using chain rule application derivative of root x is 1 by 2 root x. Therefore, y dash is equal to cos of root x divided by 2 root x. Now move on to the next question. Evaluate integral of 1 minus x by root x dx. Now write this integral as 1 minus x divided by root x. That is 1 by root x minus x by root x dx. Integral of 1 by root x is 2 root x minus this x by root x can also be considered as root x. So integral root x is x to the power half plus 1 that is 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 plus c. Now move on to the next question. Find the vector components of the vector with initial point 2 1 and terminal point minus 5 7. Suppose if I take the initial point as a that is 2 comma 1 then vector component of this can be written as 2 i cap plus 1 j cap. Similarly terminal point suppose if we take that as b that is minus 5 comma 7 then vector component of this can also be written as 5 i cap plus 7 j cap. Now let us fun find out vector ab that is 
OB minus OA. That is minus 5 I cap minus 2 I cap. That is minus 7 I cap. Plus 7 J cap minus J cap. That is 6 J cap. Therefore, the vector components of AB is minus 7 I cap and 6 J cap. Now let us move on to the next question. What is the equation of the plane that cuts the coordinate axis at A00, 0, 0, 0B0 0, and 00C? Zero, zero that means the plane cuts x axis at A, y axis at B and z axis at C. Therefore, equation of the required plane is x by A plus y by B plus z by C equal to 1. Now consider the last question. If F is an event of a sample space S of an experiment, find probability of S condition F. That is, probability of S condition F is equal to probability of S intersection F divided by probability of F. That is, probability of S intersection F is also equal to probability of f divided by probability of f equal to 1. 